On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the Jack Protean kit for the RAL MG, which gives it a telescoping barrel that increases damage range and gives you the option to switch between full auto and single fire. Let's go test it out. So I'll be honest, I am uh, not that hyped for this aftermarket part, but it can't be worse than the Jack Slash, I'll tell you that. At least we get something we can actually shoot here. And I am still a little confused on what this aftermarket part is even supposed to do. It like definitely adds more range and you know, it, it has the scope on here by default. It gets a default hybrid sight. And we do have the full auto, which as you can see is doing pretty decent against these tier one zombies but if we switch to our single fire mode and then the scorcher can get out of my face can we one tap the zombies in this mode does it do more damage it doesn't look like uh, hold on that first zombie you didn't one tap them but some of the other ones it is okay so maybe it does do more damage in single fire mode but how's it doing in tier two here is a fully armored or a light armored zombie in tier two how many shots is it gonna take to break this helmet a few too many it's looking like there we go finally got it that one zombie got caught in the crossfire but it does look like the single fire mode is doing some decent damage let's switch this to full auto and it's still racking up damage pretty quick here's an armored zombie we can try it against there we go Ooh, couldn't take him out before i had to reload and it is a long reload let me tell you oh shit we didn't even get into tier three yet and we're already going down at least it didn't cancel the reload there we go Got my revenge. Well, let's get a self-revive back real quick. And let's see how we're doing against some tier three zombies. Here's a fully armored one. We'll hit them with the full auto. We're doing like the smallest amount of damage possible, it looks like. Doesn't look like it's helping out very much though. We're getting absolutely bombarded. Uh, let's throw another decoy. Maybe we can sneak in this reload. The world's slowest reload. Holy shit. Mimic, bad. Uh-oh. Yeah, we just gotta go. We need to do a little tactical retreat. Maybe since the range is increased, let's go ahead and put it to the single fire mode. Can we take a zombie out from here? Let's see, where's a fully armored one? Here we go. Can we at least break his helmet? Do anything. Not looking like it. All right, we need to get the hell out of here. So far, unpack a punch. On upgraded, not doing the greatest, and we're down. Oh, uh, I need assistance. Service needed in layaway. Where am I? And I get a revive in F6, please. Now we have to wait for a good Samaritan to come pick us up. I could already tell right off the bat, if this thing's not going to be doing enough damage, we're going to get overwhelmed pretty fast because it doesn't look like the movement speed on it is good enough to get away from anything. That and I'm dumb, which is a, a terrible combination. Oh, here comes my hero now. What a lad. That's my guy right there. All right, well, we've seen what I can do. Unpack a punch, unupgraded. So let's go ahead and change that. Let's get us a legendary and pack three. So our mag goes up to 200, nothing different from the normal RAL. And our stock goes up to 600 from 400. So not that big of an increase. And we saw the reload earlier. Is it still the same without speed cola while pack a punched? Looks like it. That's insanely slow. That is not good at all. But what about if we use speed cola? Let's fire off a few shots here. Absolutely dismantled that zombie. And the reload is still not optimal. So let's throw on our Maggle holding. And now we can just spray down hordes of zombies without having to worry about it. And since we're broke as shit and have no self revives, we're going to have to mess up a few tier two bounties. What's up, Mangler? How you doing this fine evening? Oh, broke his armor pretty fast. Draining his health even faster. And he's gone. That's what we like to see. Give me that self revive. We're back in business and got an extra one. And we got to at least do one more tier two bounty. We got to try this out with a single tap. All right, Mimic. You got to be our guinea pig for this. Is it doing? Oh, look at that damage actually. It's chunking him. He should already be gone. Damn, this has the potential to be a beast. Only way to find out is to do this against a tier three bounty. But uh, we are a little low on perks. First, what are we fighting? A mega bomb, perfect. Let's go pick up some perks. We're definitely gonna need stamina up. Uh, quick revival help. Uh, PhD probably good, jug probably good. I need you to go away, Mimic. I don't got time for you right now. Ooh, but well, look how it's chunking his health. Yeah, that's right. Eat it. Night night. I think I can still get one more. Uh, jug. Nope. 
It says I can get it for 1400 but I can't. They're lying. False advertising. Don't matter. We won't need it when we're lighting up this abomination. Let's try to take out as many of these zombies over here as we can first. Because we already know they're going to be a problem. Seems to be shredding the tier 3 zombies now. Even just like blindly hip firing it. And now he's shooting his laser. So let's lock in. Let's take that face out. There we go. And now let's alternate to the single tap. Ooh. They're eating damage. Abomination, why don't you uh, lay off for a second, buddy? You need to calm down. Oh, now the mangler wants some. Get the hell away from me. Jeez. Wait your turn. Oh, and there goes another laser. Let's see if we can take out the middle face. Ooh, it doesn't look like it's doing that much damage, but I think we did take the face out. Nope, he just stopped shooting his laser. It's got to be super low health, though. Let's see how fast we can get this to fire in the single tap mode. Oh, wait. Hold on. He's having his hissy fit. Now, I'm going to spam click this as fast as I can. This looks like is what the, the fire rate maxes out at in the single fire mode. But don't matter. We're still going to break that middle face right here. We have to. Let's go. And we're getting a helpful Harry coming in. We don't need you. Stay back. Let's get this to full auto. He's about to scream. This is really not doing a whole lot to him. Come on. I just need you to sit down. We're going to have to find another abomination to test this on. This should be it right here. Night, night. I'll take that extra self revive. You know what? Give me that napalm burst. Oh, and he gave me jug. He saw that I was scammed by the Wonder Fizz. But so far, I'm, I'm not sold on this aftermarket part. The movement speed's extremely slow. So slow that we couldn't even get away from the abomination biting at us. The single tap mode, although I think it does more damage, the fire rate, like the max amount of fire rate you can get out of it, doesn't seem to be that much better than just keeping the gun on full auto. Let's not jump the gun on judging it. Let's uh, try a spore contract. Not something we normally do here in tier three, but I really want to test this against like a good group of zombies. I'm not really seeing this weapons like niche. Like for some of the aftermarket parts, it seems like they, they fill in a certain niche where they're at least useful in some situations, but I don't see anybody using this in like any mode really. Like zombies, it's very slow and you don't get a whole lot for its damage output to offset it. Like it has a good amount of ammo, but there's definitely more weapons in this game that are better than this that have more ammo. So that can't be a positive. It also comes with a scope on it default, which is pretty annoying, especially when you're trying to go to sprint after like having it scoped in or you're going to like focus your scope. You're constantly flipping between the hybrid. And if you want to get rid of it, you're going to have to lose an attachment spot for it. And in multiplayer, you're probably just better off with the normal rel unless you're playing like, I don't know, ground war. But is that even in this game? And in Warzone, I don't think anyone would be caught dead using this. This is like a, a ground loot weapon you pick up and you're forced to use because there's nothing else around. But at least it can kill things in tier three. It, it's got that going for it. And now that we finished the contract, we anything good? Nope. Be a big surprise the day that we do. Maybe an outlast will be a better test for this thing against a, a large horde. So this isn't a huge amount of zombies. It's like, what, eight or something? But a lot of them are fully armored. Let's start laying down on the trigger. Can we survive just sitting here shooting? Ah, yeah. Looking like it. So it's not like completely worthless and useless. Uh, you can do something. It can hold its own up here in tier three. But it seems like you're putting yourself at risk trying to use this. It seems like a liability. I mean, we, we made it through the outlast. We survived. I'm just waiting for another bounty to open up. I, I feel like this thing's damaged. Like we haven't really seen its full potential yet. And there we go. Here's a bounty. What are we going against? Please be another abomination. Yep. Now, I want to try single tap against it the entire time we're fighting this abomination. Let's see if this will do even more damage. We do have napalm burst on this now, so that is going to sway it a little bit. I don't think by too much. Go ahead and open up for me. There we go. Let's work on that right face to start. And we got it broken pretty fast. Didn't even have to shoot a laser. And speaking of laser, here it comes. Let me get this middle face gone. Like, it doesn't look like a whole lot of damage is coming off his health bar, but it's definitely chunking away. We already got two faces broken within however long that we've been fighting him. Oh, and he's not happy about it. He's trying to chase us down. Let's get a few more shots on him while the mouth's open and try to climb to this roof. Maybe we can get him to shoot another laser. Yes, sir. Get some shots in on him. Can't see his health bar, though. I have no idea where his health's at. Ooh, I have a good feeling where mine's at, though. I got a cashmere. I just got to throw it. Got to keep the zombies away. Come on over here. Yeah, there you go. Keep yelling and then shoot a laser after. That's what we're looking for. Beautiful. You're shooting it the wrong way, though, buddy. 
Nope, I'm right over here. He's a little confused. He's wondering why I'm stepping to him with this ass weapon. I feel like I'm being too critical of it because it is doing like all right against this abomination. Okay, we got those two faces broken pretty early on and now he's we're, we're struggling to get the last one. Come on, get that last laser going. Let's see it. You don't want to cooperate. There we go. Now you should be gone. Right about here. It's not terrible, but there's there's got to be better weapons than this. Or I know for a fact that there is. Damn, that kind of sucks. That's like two disappointing aftermarket parts two weeks in a row. Not that this is even like extremely terrible. It's just that we could have gotten something cooler. Like, why don't we make this LMG into like a rocket launcher or something? That's a little overkill, but like... You know, something more extreme than just giving an LMG a single tap mode. You know, a little bit more unique. But, I mean, they've been giving us an aftermarket part, like, once a week, every week, for the last eight months. There's gonna be a few duds in there. We can't have a blunderbuss every week. Maybe it'll be better against this Disciple. Maybe the gun being bad is my fault. Because this does have the option to get incendiary rounds on it. And incendiary rounds aren't what they used to be. But it could be a bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and exfil and change up the build a little bit. And then we'll see if uh, we can get this to do a bit more damage. All right, so I made a few changes to the gun. I went ahead and added the incendiary rounds. And I went and got the folding stock so we can move a little bit faster with this weapon. And I also removed the 100 round mag because it's only 25 rounds less with a default mag at 75 and i'm pretty sure we get more ammo in reserve but we're about to find out real quick let's not waste any time upgrading this looks like it goes up to 150 bullets yeah we lose 50 bullets actually dang that's fine that's not that big of a deal all right now let's give this a retry against a tier 3 bounty and i don't know if the incendiary rounds are really working on this at least not that i'm seeing i don't see any zombies getting caught on fire i don't see nothing oh it looks like it's working against the mangler i saw him light on fire a little bit there now, how are we doing against the mimic Oh, it's really not doing anything unless I'm just missing his crit point by a crazy amount. Oh, wait, here we go. We're starting to whittle him down. Movement speed still isn't great. We cannot outrun this mimic. Ooh, we're outrun our demons. There we go. Will Aether Shuttle help? Now the zombies are getting caught on fire. I just had to complain about the incendiary rounds not working. I don't know if I'm seeing a, like a major difference here. It's still taking us a bit to take down this mimic. And we're out of ammo. Okay. All right, buddy. Let's, uh, let's go for a walk. Just let me go refill on it, and I'll be right with you. All right, round two. He's, like, down to a third of his health. But it's not doing, like, any impressive damage. What about a single shot up here? That's a bit better, I guess. Can we take him out before he kills us, though? Let's see. Oh, he's got the upper hand. Oh, we got him. Barely. This has just got to be one of the lamest aftermarket parts out there. Oh, wait, hold on. People haven't done these yet? Don't mind if I do. I would love a refund on this legendary Aether tool in Pack 3 Crystal. I think this probably goes without saying, but I would not be caught dead with this in the Unstable Rift. Actually, I would be caught dead with it. I feel like that's the only outcome. Give me those. Let's go see if they, they haven't touched any of the other ones. Oh, wait, yeah. No one's touched this one. Gimme. There we go. Give me those. And let's see if we can get another abomination. Now, this is the ultimate test. Can we actually take this guy out now? Or at least take him out faster. Even though we're here? Nope. Oh, wait. I think he's starting to figure it out. He's getting there. Now we have the entire infested stronghold coming for us. Leave me be. All you need to hop off. Especially if he's about to shoot a laser. There we go. Damn, we're not doing anything to that mimic. Oh, wait. It was like doing nothing, and then there's just a big chunk of his health gone. Like, it just slowly ticks away, and then just randomly jumps up in damage. That was weird. Shoot another laser. Can we take out the middle face before we get downed? Not looking like it. Oh, wait, hold on. Nope. I think that laser was helping us more than it was hurting us, to be honest. All right, Abomination, I'll be right back. I need some ammo. Come here, you little freak. I ought to knock your block off. Oh, yeah. Run away. Run away and heal. Coward. Broke his face. Must have had a good amount of damage on it from his last laser. And let's switch to single fire for the end here, for the finale. See if we can get him. Oh, wait. This is not going to be the finale. I forgot that he healed already. That is not doing really anything. 
Yeah, just keep shooting those lasers. We'll get there eventually. Yep, keep it up. There you go. Slow and steady wins the race. Uh, it's actually not terrible damage-wise. It just feels so inadequate with how slow it shoots. But I do think the incendiary is helping it out a lot. Let's uh, bring this into the Dark Aether and see if we can get out of here with like a Maggle holding or something. Maybe we can add a bit more to this nice loot we're bringing out. Now, I said this with the Jack Slash last week, but now that we're getting this out of the way, I feel like it can't get much worse than this. Because at some point, we're going to have to get that Akimbo Spaz 12, and it's going to be nasty out here. At least I hope so. I hope it's good. I hope they don't just nerf it into the ground. Because I will be pissed if we get three mid aftermarket parts in a row. At least give us one with like a cool concept next if it isn't going to be busted. Or at least like good. But we're kind of handling this abomination right now. Full auto into the laser. Can we break it? Ooh, barely got it. He's got one more face left. Look at all the rounds flying out of this. Was it doing that before? Or was I just not backpedaling as much? Because there is just a lot of shells. Actually, Joe, those aren't shells. Those are whatever. Shut up. Don't matter. We still killed the abomination. And I, I kept saying the single tap is better damage wise. And I still stand by it. But full auto, I think, catches up and then does a little bit more. Like we're, we're just going shot for shot. Single tap is going to do a bit more. But overall, I think the, the fire rate on the full auto does a bit more damage over time. We got one more test for this thing. Let's see if I can sit in a corner and just spray with it and survive. I'm gonna go right in here and just start shooting. Can I live to tell the tale? I mean, so far it's working. I'll give an ADS a bit here because I know people get mad when I when I hip fire, but it's actually kind of slaying. Period. Now the elites are coming into play. Don't matter. Light them up. It's actually not doing bad in here. I don't even have uh, golden armor plates. Oh. I had to, I had to start talking. I was going to say, I didn't even have golden armor plates and I was just staying in the pocket. Not really taking a whole lot of damage. If things start changing when I start speaking. We're going to go ahead and Aether Shroud right there. Sorry, Mangler. Sorry, I got to do that to you. Oh, wait, he's still here. What the fuck? Leave. Be gone. Oh, motherfuck. How many self revives am I at? Uh, we got one left. Let's not lose it. A little thermite right there in the hallway and we should be good. Maybe one more. There we go. What we got from that? A lot of nothing. And let's just go ahead and end this on a good note with uh, some good loot. Why don't we, Dark Aether? Doesn't even seem to want me to finish doing this contract. There we go. Let's throw a quick thermite on the ground next to us. Can we get through this one? Yep. And we can save our cashmere for the last one. And there goes our Aether Shroud. I love hitting my Aether Shroud as I'm going down. It's perfect. It works great every time. So let's just use it now. Let's uh, do the Thermi strat again. And give me something good, please. I even give you a cashmere in return. Damn, dude. No way it gave me a blood burner key. Fuck out of here with that. All right, I'm leaving. Goodbye, Dark Aether. At least we got those two triangles done because the Dark Aether wasn't giving us anything. So overall thoughts on this aftermarket part, it is uh, basically mid personified. It doesn't do anything special. It doesn't have anything like unique about it. It doesn't really change it a whole lot. It's just kind of a, an LMG that is usable. I don't know how else to explain it. It's like it does do enough damage to actually take things out in tier three but it doesn't do it very impressively. It doesn't take things out fast. It moves very slow. And for an LMG, the ammo count honestly kind of feels a bit low. But what can you do? At least uh, it's usable. At least we can do something with it, unlike the Jack Slash. And hopefully within the next few weeks, we'll get a, a, some more fun aftermarket parts. But that's all I got for you guys today. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate our love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.